Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shims. Today I actually got a really good feeding going on with a trench along with other updates which you can kind of see in the corner over there. And I'm going to be using different prey this time. I'm not going to be using crickets, though I might be able to if they don't take the other prey. But I do have... So if you haven't seen my latest video, which is basically where I first, for the first time, got turkey sandwiches, well today I'm going to be using them to feed my tarantula and any of the spiders that I have to see if they will eat them. So if I can get them to eat turkey sandwiches, I no longer have to afford crickets, because crickets I have to constantly keep buying them. So if I can get turkey sandwiches, get them to eat them, it'll all go well. If they keep eating crickets, go good. <laughs> But yeah, that is basically what we're going to be doing today. So I've got all of it lined out right here. This is the whole lot. So unfortunately, two spiders did die. Actually, three since I last time did a live stream. So uh, the other part of the spider, um, it passed away. I thought that it was just having a bad molt or something, or um, it was molting in the process. And I was like, okay, I'll leave it alone because it was on its back. And Normally, you know, when it's a tarantula on his back, when a spider's on his back, that's an indicator of it's going to molt. I was like, okay, I'll, I'll leave it be, I'll see how it goes the next day. Usually about 24 hours, the tarantula or spider should be on its, um, back on its legs again. It doesn't mean it's through the molting stage, though. It doesn't mean that it's recovered or anything like that. It just means that within 24 hours or just over, the spider or tarantula should technically be back on its legs then, within that time. However... It was not like that. It stayed there and just ended up going onto its side. So when it went onto its side, I was like, okay, well, it's probably dead. I did give it a poke test to see if it would react to anything. It did not react to anything and therefore it did. So it's the unfortunate part of taking in wild spiders. So if I have any wild spiders, they're most likely not going to live. So that's the unfortunate part because if you get ones from like breeders or anything like that, they're daring guaranteed half the time to live because obviously they're from breeders they're not being outside with other things they haven't been infected by anything they haven't been having any viruses or anything like that but there, there's so many complications which come to taking in wild things such as if you take in a wild tarantula you might have different um responses to things than that tarantula normally would do so uh yeah that's pretty much that one and then i got two others uh which i think and this one this one um ended up dying it's on the ground somewhere um, it's one of my other tiny little spiders that were on the top all the time. And then I've got another one here as well. It's not up there, so I was looking up like, these spiders are always at the top. So like, if they're not at the top, then I know that they, they've ever gone down to die or something like that. Uh, they didn't even go down to go eat the food, so I just knew that they must have died because it, I, it wasn't at the top. So I looked down and I tried to find it, and I think I may have found it, but I wasn't too sure because there's so much texture in there and the spiders are pretty small. So those are three that have passed away because obviously they are wild caught i don't expect wild caught spiders to live forever especially since i don't know how old they are so but today we do have one two three four five six six uh spiders along with the tarantula to feed and also i got a pretty cool update of these right here so this is actually an enclosure well four enclosures that i've gotten from the tea world so i received these yesterday and look how cool they are <laughs> I do have like the sticker and stuff. I did have the uh, Halloween spider they gave me, but my cat decided to play around with it and kick it all over the floor. So now it's dirty. I was going to put it in one of these enclosures, but I don't feel like it anymore because it's dirty now. My little sister did recommend to wash it, but it's covered in hairs because obviously cat hair. And I wasn't sure if that was ideal. So I'm going to try and see how many hairs I can get off of it and see how many if it was clean after that. But uh, my sister has decided to take the yellow and um, red one, well pinkish, and I've got the orange and purple bluish ones. So yeah, those are currently what we got here. So I've ordered from the Tea World these that showed up today, well showed up yesterday, but I've also ordered another tarantula from the Tea World as well. I did order another tarantula, but I didn't, it's not with the Tea World. I had to get from Portsmouth tarantulas because they did not have the species I wanted, and I've been wanting that species for a long time, so. Um, <laughs> we are going to have some soon, some rehouses happening with these enclosures, we'll be setting them all up. I have done an unboxing video of these guys, and you will see that video hopefully soon. But yeah, that's pretty much the updates of them. I am like super excited. Um, maybe tomorrow, Monday to 
possibly Thursday. We may get the tarantulas, all of them, including my one. My one's coming for some tarantulas, so it may show up around Monday to Tuesday. Um, we'll have to see though. Um, hopefully the curly hair, which my sister wants. The curly hair that we're actually getting is what my sister wants. That's what she's getting. I will keep mine a secret because I know I've mentioned mine before. So I want to know if you guys will actually decide, like, figure it out which one I'm getting. I've mentioned it before in my live streams and on my videos, so if you can think about it and if you've been watching for a while, you would know which, which species I'm getting. So yeah, doing a great job. Thank you so much. By the way, I'm, I'm live streaming on Facebook, so if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, I'm going to be responding to comments, all that different kind of stuff. So if you also want to join the live streams, you can also go down in the description below. There will be a link to join. So yeah. We live stream every two weeks, uh, so we'll be doing live feedings and checking out anything that's new happening. So yes. Also, I'd like to mention um, when we do get the new tarantulas, um, after 24 hours of them settling in, I'm gonna try and feed them. I'm, I'll do that off stream because uh, I live stream every two weeks. So if it's, if it isn't on the same day as I'm feeding them, then you most likely won't get live stream. But I will be recording feeding them just so you guys can see like the updates of them, like how they're doing and stuff. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna try and see if I can get them like once they're bigger, like the same age as, uh, almost the same uh, size as Asterix. I'm gonna try and get them on the same like food, food eating day as Asterix as her, so you guys can see them eat on live too. Oh, also I wanted to mention as well, someone uh, DM'd me on Instagram who actually watches my videos. Um, I'm very, very grateful for the link they sent me. So in here there is a lizard. I know you can't see it right now. But there is a lizard in there, uh, usually down there or something. Um, but what it is, uh, I made a video on this lizard, like probably about three videos maybe, maybe, maybe four, um, about um, how my dad found the lizard on a farm and how I've been taking it in, how I've been trying to care for it. I don't know what species it is, and I was always asking people like, hey, what kind of species it is. I even reached out to Snake Discovery being like, hey, do you know? <laughs> I didn't get a reply back there, which is completely understandable because they're probably going hectic busy with everything they've got, especially with the shop opening and the zoo and stuff like that. So, um, thankfully, someone very kindly sent me a, a care sheet of the lizard that potentially could be the species. So I'm gonna definitely be checking that in. Like, if you're watching this, thank you so much. You're also the person that suggested the name. So me and my little sister were talking about the name suggestions that we have received for the lizard because it does not have a name yet. Uh, my nan has decided to call it Kurno. That's what she decided to call it. <laughs> However, um, we have gotten suggestions. One was Pebbles. The other was Jeremy. Um, I'm not so keen on Jeremy. <laughs> but I am super keen on Pebbles. But do let me know down in the comments below which name you do prefer. Pebbles or Jeremy. Like, just let me know because whichever you guys decide, we're going to go for. Because you guys, like, you, you guys are part of this. And I, I just hope that you guys can appreciate that. Like, whoever gets to name this lizard gets to like have their like name just their name covered with it. Like you're the one that named it. That was that. That's you. <laughs> but yeah, I think we should get to the feeding now that we've covered mostly everything. I think. I think so. Maybe. Oh, and before I before I continue, um, I did actually get this food. Now this food is what I've been talking about for a long, long while. Um, this is roach chow, uh, which can also be used for crickets and stuff like that. I've given it to my crickets, I've given it to my uh, dewy roaches, I've given it to my uh, turkey sandwiches. They all seem to be doing fine with it. All I did with my turkey sandwiches though is give them what they already had left in their container where they, showed, where they showed up in. So this stuff that I put in bags because um, when it was in its other bag, its original bag that it came in, it was ripped up because I had to rip it open. And I didn't want it pouring everywhere or going bad, so I just put it in these containers and, well plastic bags and they seem to work fine so yeah I guess well now we gotta figure out which spider we're gonna feed so um these are my two sisters ones and these two can be put to a side I'll deal with them after the stream I'll sort them out and uh put them in the bin along with the substrate because I usually don't trust the substrate after an animal or anything has died in it because it attracts mites and stuff and I don't want to put that into another enclosure and attract more mites you know just stuff like that um, I usually just tip out the entire thing, unless there's a piece of card book in there that I can reserve. However, let's feed all of these ones, so I've got to figure out which one we're going to feed first. So, I'm actually, like last time in the last live stream, I'm going to try and tongue feed these guys, because last time, some of them didn't eat them uh, on the ground, but one did. I did tongue feed one of them, which was amazing. And then you go to the last one down here, oh, look at her. Look how good she is. 
we're gonna see if she eats today. I'm not entirely sure when she's gonna molt, though that's the only issue. Because um she's been eating like a massive pig, like like amazingly well and I cannot wait to see her eat. Also, by the way, if there's connection issues, it's probably just the Wi-Fi that's happening. So if the live stream goes and then comes back again, that's why. Um, but yeah, hope you guys are able to enjoy the live stream that's going on anyway. Um, but yeah, we're going to have to feed these ones. There's so much dust on these. Because I never actually clean them. Hi, my darling, watching you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> but now we're going to figure out which ones we're going to feed here. Alright, maybe this one. I, I like starting off with the spiders first and then moving on to the tarantula because it's so much nicer that way. And then, um, before we do the tarantula, you gotta do this one. This one down here. This one is doing so well for some reason. I don't know why. It outlived the other one, even though they're the same species. So, I guess we're gonna open this one up. Let me move this one up here. Let's see. Spider. <laughs> Alright, what we normally do is we open the container. I really hope this one isn't a bolty one. I'm gonna see if it'll take a turkey sand roach. I don't know if it will, but I really hope so. Um, so yeah. I'm also trying to breed the turkey sand roaches as well. So I'm trying not to kill most of them off, but I did order uh, 50. So hopefully a lot, they last for a long time. But however, let's go check out the turkey sand roaches. I'm so excited to show you guys. Um, I gotta grab my tongs. And now I gotta head over to them. Um, I still do have crickets in here, um, but I don't know if they're alive or not because I haven't checked on them yet. Let me just do that real quick. I don't know how many are alive. Last time my dad counted around 17. Any good in here? Oh yeah, there's a few still in there. Okay, they're fine. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna move these out the way over here because then they're out of the way <laughs> and then i'm gonna get my tongues again and we're gonna check for some turkey sandwiches so here we are we'll open this up i don't think that they can climb out of here so i don't really have any problems with opening the lid maybe anything so i got this in my wrong hand um because i'm right handed okay there you go um now we've got to look for any turkey sandwiches oh my goodness look how many there are oh and some of them are pregnant Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> my tongue's like go. Oh, you seem like a good one. Oh, no, you do. Come here. Oh, my goodness. There's so many of them. Wow. That's so awesome. I want, like, a small enough one that the spider can eat. That's the food, by the way, that they came with. That's all that food that they came with. So I just put it in there. I didn't really do much with it. I need, like, one that's small enough. Hmm. You know what I could do? Oh, actually, if I can get this one. Nope, okay, that's gone. They're so fast. Oh, my goodness. They're faster than the doobie roaches. All right, well, you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to actually feed them the crickets, all the spices of the crickets, and then leave these for the tarantulas. So I think that's what I'm going to do instead because I just cannot catch one that's small enough. So I think that's what I'm going to do instead. So let's go ahead and catch ourselves a cricket first for all the spiders. And then we'll feed the uh, doobie, uh, doobie roaches, tricky sand roaches to the cricket. <laughs> Do you sandwiches to the crickets? No, that's not how that works. <laughs> we'll feed the turkey sandwiches to the tarantulas instead of the spiders. And then crickets to the spiders. There you go, well, it works out. Anything else, I don't know if they can jump out of this container. I have no idea. We're going to see though. I don't know if I could open this one handed either. Hello? Anyone in here? Oh, there go. Hello? Oh, hi. Oh, there's a dead one down there. Are, are there any alive? Oh, yep. Just don't jump out, please. I don't know how big they are, though. That's the only issue. I don't want two big ones. I do have half a leg attached to you. Hmm, they seem too pretty big. Here's a dead one. I don't want to give it dead ones because I know dead ones are probably um, not reliable. Yeah, these ones are a bit too big. Um, I guess what I can do is I'll take one and I will pre-kill it and give it the pre-killed half. Maybe. We'll see how that goes. Um, I need to somehow... <laughs> okay. No! Gosh damn it. 
There you go, I've got one. Alright, now I need to work out how to close the lid. <laughs> Alright, let me see what's behind this one. There we go. Oh, I dropped the cricket. Oh, cricket go. Where did that cricket go? Oh, no. I got the cricket. I got the cricket. Okay. So I'm gonna put it back on again. I think I'm gonna pre kill it and try to give it. No. No. <laughs> Why does it keep doing that? Keep somehow getting out. Alright. I'm gonna pre kill this probably and then uh, give it to the spider. This is big enough to handle this cricket. What I do is like get the end of it. Alright, so you guys can see that. Are you getting it? Are you gonna eat it? Yeah? I think it is. Maybe, I don't know. What the hell is it doing? Eat it. There you go, food! It is pre-killed, it's like... It is dead. I guess we'll wait and see. I don't want to let go of it because I don't want it to drop to the ground. Okay, there you go. Woo! <laughs> I was trying to put it out and not pull it away from the spider, but there you go. Oh my goodness. That's awesome! That's so cool! Okay, well at least that one's eaten. There we go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I have to slowly do this because it's going to go around in circles now. I don't want to put it off its food. But I need to put the lid on. I'm sorry. Because <laughs> I mentioned before how all the food, I would put the cricket in and it would just go right to the bottom and the spider wouldn't go to it. But I think tongue feeding is the actual idea what it's to do. Well done. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I was so confused on how to do it because I wasn't sure if it was able to get it because I couldn't see from the camera angle either. But yeah, that one is done. Look at that. Wow. That's amazing. And look at how cool that is. That's so cool. Just look at it, web it up. That's awesome. That's so cool. I love that. <laughs> this they web it up and then they eat it and it's like so amazing. Alright, but I guess you should go into the next one now. I guess it's the thing, just pre kill it halfway if it's too big and then give them well, actually, tongue feed it to them because they won't eat it otherwise. Alright, I'm gonna put this into my uh, little pile of Duns ones. Oh, also, I got these from the uh, Tea World as well. They're things you put like the water into one corner and then it all goes down into one substrate. I've never used one before because I've always got my uh, little uh, water spray gun. Um, so I might use those in the future, maybe. Whenever I don't have my water gun or something, but we'll see. Um, but now, uh, I don't know if that one's alive or dead, honestly. These are my sister spiders I'm doing first, but, uh, let me put the phone down. Here we go, you can see. It's right up there. Hmm, we'll see if I open the lid and it moves. Oh, yep, it's alive. So, I'm not sure if this one will eat. It's got a pretty big butt, though. I don't know if it ate last live stream either, but we shall see. I'm gonna get a cricket from here. Again, again. Oh, I'm so sorry, I just knocked that. Whoops, I'm just gonna move over there. And I'm gonna just like this now, so I don't knock the water ball. Alright. It's so hard to do this one open, one handed. 
for one open, one handed. <laughs> Right, there you go. Um, hmm, now. Let's see, maybe you? You're right there, so I don't know. <laughs> so many of them are hiding from me. That one's still somewhat alive, but I don't trust it, so what about you? Alright, now I have to figure out how to pre kill you. Okay. Um, I kind of need both my hands for this. Let's see if I can check the um, Up. Yeah, that works somehow. Right. Okay. Let's do this. Go. There we go. That's a pretty good view in it. Maybe. Interesting. Okay. So I have to pre kill this. I remember. No. I have to pre kill you. I'm sorry. So it shouldn't be able to move very much. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. I don't know if you can see the lighting, but I'll probably stand here that we can see much. There you go. Oh, I can't do this like that. <laughs> I have to look down here. Let's see. I'll get it from behind. I don't know if we'll eat it. Come on. Oh, maybe, yes, no. No? What? Okay. Doesn't it want to eat? If it doesn't want to eat, that's fine. Okay, no, I don't think it wants to eat. It kind of backed away. That's fine. Um, I can give it to another, <laughs> to another one anyway. Um, make sure you don't jump away. Now I'll do this one up. That's fine if it doesn't want to eat. I mean, it does have a very big abdomen, so I didn't expect to eat it to eat, honestly. But let's maybe try this one now. By the way, the cricket hasn't jumped away or anything. It's half like pre-killed, so like it's not gonna jump away. <laughs> it can't really move much. Okay. There we go. Now I'll try this one. I think I'm gonna do it anyway. Because I have more of an opportunity to chance then. I can't get it in properly. Oh, maybe. 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 Oh, it seems interested. It does seem interested. Yeah, it does seem interested. Alright, I just need it to take it and then I can remove my tongs. Yeah, it's, it's, it's trying to work on dealing with it. <laughs> Oh, there we go. That's so cool. <laughs> I 
Okay, can you, have you got it? Have you got it? There you go, you got it, okay. I was waiting for it to web it up so it can take it. Yeah, there you go. I'm trying not to like break its web because I know it's very fragile right now. So I'm just gonna let it work on it. That's so cool. Right, I'm gonna get my other real quick. You can watch them as I do this. <laughs> I was gonna make sure I'm not missing any comments. Because the phone doesn't always show me all the comments. But isn't that so cool that you can see it? That's honestly amazing. It's so cool. It's still eating it. <laughs> Alright, I think that's good to go, maybe? Just wanna make sure. Alright, I think now I can put the light on there without disturbing it, maybe? So we'll try. Put it on now. Because it is a very small spider, so I'm very surprised that it took it, but I don't want to put this on without disturbing it, because I don't want it to get off the meal. Oh. <laughs> okay, it's good, good, good. There we go. There we go. That's so good. Okay, two of them eaten now. That's amazing. Whew. I did not expect that. Wow. <laughs> Alright, that's awesome. Alright, now we've got one of the spider to feed. Well, another spider as well, but that one can be fed a turkey stand brooch. I'm hoping anyway. I'm hoping I'll eat one. So, this is the other one of mine. Oh my goodness, I'm very excited to feed this one. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Let's get a cricket. Oh, actually, I gotta open this, actually. What am I doing? I gotta open this first. The reasons why I hate these containers is because when the spider goes up there, I have to rotate it. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna open this first, actually, real quick. And then we can fetch a cricket. There we go. Okay. Oh, I grabbed a leg. <laughs> okay. My god, there's so many of them. <laughs> okay. Wait, there's so many more in here. Hold on a minute. Oh, look. Look at size. Wait, no, no. No. Oh, god. I got you. I just need to figure out how to pre-kill you. <laughs> Alright, don't, don't pop my tongues, please. There. And now I gotta try and pre-kill this. <laughs> it's so jumpy. Oh, that one was gut-loaded. <laughs> that one was seriously gut-loaded. Ew. <laughs> Lovely juice on my table now. Okay, well, that is what you call free killing. And then the head. Sorry. <laughs> Alright. Time to now feed it. Gosh, okay. Now, which face is it going? Facing. Which, which face is it facing? Okay, it's facing that way. Oh, maybe. Oh. 
hole. You're gonna stay in there, right? I don't know if it's interested. I don't think it is. I don't know. It kind of like attacked it in like a way, like get away kind of thing. I don't know really. If it goes down to the bottom, that'd be great, man. Like that would be actually great. I kind of want it to go down to the bottom. Go down to the bottom. Oh, this is what you want to do when I when I can't get a spider to go down. Oh, now the container's stuck. Lovely. Okay. It's so vicious when this one is. I don't know if we'll eat it. Okay, if it goes down there, okay, there you go. I put it down there. Um, I don't know if it'll eat it, but it's at the bottom now. I guess. Man, you're going down. Yeah, it's like right underneath it. Right there. Well, I guess it's that. Well, I tried feeding that one, so... I guess I didn't want it because it just acted really strange towards it, like... It's gone right back up to the top now, but oh well. I guess that's it. <laughs> that's the crickets done for them. Alright, now time for the turkey sandwiches to be given out. So, oh my goodness, okay, I'm gonna put these back. Now I'm gonna get a turkey sandwich. Oh my goodness, okay. This is gonna be fun. I'm gonna put this container over here, actually. And then grab my tongs. Oh, pardon me. And then get to some merch. Time for feeding the biggest spider I have. <laughs> now, this spider is pretty big, so I can probably get an almost adult if I can even catch one. Let me show you guys. This is currently what I'm dealing with. <laughs> The, these are the egg pieces, egg cartons that actually came with them. These are mine, my ones. Oh, so close. There's so many of them. Oh, there we go. That's more. I don't want to get anyone that's pregnant because I do want to breed these colonies. So I don't want to tamper the colony. Okay, so I have to figure out which one's good. Hmm. God damn it, why? <laughs> Come here. I want like the small little ones. Oh my goodness. They're so rapid, like they're so fast. Trying to grab one is so difficult. Come on. Maybe you? Oh, come on. I grabbed this leg. Oh, I don't want to ruin the food. No. Maybe you? Oh, my goodness. Oh, I just almost got one. I don't want any of that food on my tongues when I'm trying to feed them. Uh, almost! I'm so close! Oh my goodness, why are these guys so hard and difficult to get? They move so fast, faster than doobie roaches, my goodness. I have to figure out which one I'm getting. Come here! No!
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I'm trying so difficult. I'm trying so hard to actually do this. Yeah, they're they're just they're just so difficult to catch. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's a lot more under here. Oh, I grab I keep grabbing their legs and they just keep pulling away, so. I have to figure out which is the smallest one to get. Oh my goodness. Okay, I finally got one. Oh my goodness gracious. I got one. Okay, let's put this back on. So I don't want any escapees. Okay, now we got one. We got one. That was difficult as heck. I finally got one. My lord. Okay. Whew. Here. It stays there. Okay. Now I've got the spider feed. recently given the spider water as well. There we go. I don't know if we'll get a reaction out of it because I kind of killed it by accident by trying to get it. So I may not get a reaction out of that one. But at least I could feed Ash. It's probably an adult, maybe. That would be awesome. Put that one's in there. We might see it eat later on. I don't think we're going to see it eat now because um, it's kind of in the web and that means it can't really move very much when it's injured as well. So I'm going to try and get a bigger one for Ashfix and see how that works out. Because um, I know that she can eat really good. So time to get another one. Open this up. Okay. Hmm. Oh, that one would have been perfect. Oh my goodness, there's so many. I just need a good one. Oh, that, you would have been so juicy for her to eat. Oh, I don't want to get a female, actually. Okay, I got one. This one looks very good. The fact that I have it like this, so I'm going to try and see if I can close the container. With this in my hand. I really don't want to let go of this one because it's not dead yet. It still has the ability to walk around, so. Let me, can I close this? There you go. Closed. Right. I finally got one. Okay, this one isn't pre-killed or nor damaged, so this one should work out. I really hope so. Okay. Here we go. This might be the big moment that we're all been waiting for. So I'm gonna try and put it into here. Okay, now we wait. Let's see if she eats it. Come on, near demise. <gasps> oh, depending on what she thinks of it. Come on, Asterix. She's only ever eating crickets. Oh my goodness, oh, she tried, she tried, she tried. She's only ever eating crickets. So, I don't know how she's going to respond to this, but she tried. <laughs> she was like, what the hell? <laughs> Where did that cricket... Well, it's up there. That, that, uh, roach, actually. It's got a roach. Oh, come on, Asterix, come on. She did try it, and then realized it, how bolty it was, so, uh, hmm. Interesting. I don't know if she'll go up and find it or something. Come on, girl. That was your chance to have a meal. <laughs> See if I can get her out. Maybe if he's to the side. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's going. She's gone the other way, and the uh, roach has gone the other way. Will we see something? Come 
Come on. Come on, Asterix, you got this. Come on, girl. Come on. She knows it's there as well. Come on. I really don't want to fish that roach out. But she hit it and that was it. I know it's all the way down there. Oh my goodness. This might take a while for her to finally decide to eat it. Come on, it's going back down again. Nope, it's going back up again. Okay, it's going back up. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. <laughs> Go. Oh, gosh, it kind of just went like that for some reason. Come on, Asterix, come on, eat it. Eat it. My cat is meowing because he wants to be in the room right now. <laughs> come on, Asterix. You can do it. You can do it. You've had bigger crickets than this little thing. Bruh. Asterix. Come on, girl. It's up there. She knows it's there as well. This might take her some time. <laughs> I thought it wouldn't be too hard for her. Hmm. Maybe I should have pre-killed it or at least injured it, maybe? Maybe I'll do that next time when I try these. It's just going up there. Asterix, go get it! Go get it! It might, it might actually come to her. Who knows? Oh, maybe. Come on, Asterix. These guys are super fast, so I don't blame her for being cautious with it, because when she tries to get it, it just kind of bolts away. Oh my god, what is it doing down there? Is it going back down? Is it coming down? No? What? Oh, it's still there. Hmm. Ash, you go on. Eat it. Like it's right there. Right into the corner there. She might take her time with it. Here she oh, free! <laughs> no, thank you. I don't want any of those hairs. She just kicked. Eh. I don't want those hairs. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna keep my distance now. Talk about a threat. Talk about a threat posture. Even though that wasn't actually a threat posture, but she kicked hairs. And I don't want those hairs on my nose. Uh, I don't know if we'll see her eat, honestly. Um... I want to give her time to eat that one that she's got right now. To see if she actually will ever eat it. Did it just burrow? Like, did it actually burrow or what? I'm going to pick her and close her up. Probably shouldn't have if she just kicked, but... Don't kick in, please. I cannot see it anywhere. Don't kick again, please. I'll put you down. Here you go. I think it burrowed right down under there. Like what? Um, it has disappeared into thin air. She doesn't have it, because I know that for a fact. She hasn't gone near it yet. Um, I guess that is a roach that has disappeared. I don't want to give her another one because I don't want her to be full when she tries to attempt to eat that one. Um, hmm. I think it really has just dis disappeared. 
Wait, where could it gone? Last time I saw it, it was here. It could have found its way down. Oh, but Roach is actually alive in there. What the hell? It's actually gotten out of the web. Okay, well, at least that spider can eat it. Will we get to see this one eat? Will we get to see this one eat, actually? Do we? Maybe? Maybe? Do we? That spider ain't doing nothing. Come on, man, do something. <laughs> um, I guess that's the roach gone. I honestly don't know. Um, it looks like it just dug and hit itself, so, um... Hmm, I will feed her one cricket. Simply because I don't want her to go without anything, but, um... I guess it's just gonna stay in there because I technically I can't do anything about it, so, um... Unless I rehouse her into one of these enclosures, um, which I can do because, um... I have this one available, which I can give to her. So... We shall see if I rehouse her in the near future, actually, to get that roach out, if she doesn't eat it. Because if she doesn't eat it, I don't want her to have it, because I don't want it to do any harm to her, which can possibly happen. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's basically it. Um, I will give her a cricket instead. That way, at least she's been fed. And if she finds that roach in the meantime and kills it, that's great. Then I don't have to worry about it. But if she doesn't, um, I might have to rehouse her into this one, just so I can get that roach out. Which is fine, because this is actually probably bigger than that, maybe? I don't know. Maybe? Um, I think so. Is it? Let me see. Let me grab this. I've got a stick on top. Let me grab you. Put you side by side. Um, they seem almost similar, just... It, maybe that one's slightly taller-ish. Hmm, I kind of do want to rehouse her into that one, though, maybe. Oh, maybe we'll see this one eat. No, it just keeps going around in circles, okay. <laughs> um, I guess we'll see if that happens. If I can't get the roacher out there and she hasn't eaten it yet or anything, I'm gonna transfer into this. And uh, see if I can get the roach out of there. Because I don't want to leave, be left in there. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I'm just going to feed her a cricket. And that will be the end of this live stream. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see her actually eat the roach. I thought that she was. Because I thought that she was going to do such a great like with it. Because she's been eating so well recently. But I'm going to try and see if I can feed her um, pre-killed or half-injured ones instead next time. And see if that will work. And if it does, then I know what to do next time to get used to them. So I'm going to open this up. Because I really do want her to start eating turkey sand roaches. Because it will be more ideal for her instead of just ordering crickets every single time. Okay, I got one. Here we go. Maybe we'll get feeding out of her after all. go. This one's upside down on his legs. Oh, maybe? What the hell is that cricket doing? Uh, what the? It's just upside down. What the hell? Um, interesting cricket, I guess. Oh, maybe we'll see something? That cricket is like drunk or something. that cricket just do? Uh, what? That cricket just kind of like collapsed and died. Oh, she's moving. Why did that cricket just fall and die like that? What? Oh yeah, it's probably playing pretend actually. Sometimes crickets play dead whenever they feel threatened, so maybe that's just the issue. So I need to actually just go back down there and eat that. <laughs> Oh, 
there we go. Creeps getting back up again, maybe. Um, you gonna do anything, Cricket, or are you just gonna be there? Because if you can walk up those stairs and get to her, that'd be great. No, it's not gonna do anything. It could be the fact that she might also be in Primo and that's why she's not doing anything, maybe. It could also be that factor, which would be actually great. But now the fact that I put Cricket in there, I'm definitely gonna have to rehouse her into the other ones. Because then there'll be a bridge and a Cricket in here that she's not eating, so. And I don't want to disturb her when she's trying to molt or anything, so. That's another idea too. So maybe it will be best to rehouse her. But I will give her, um today to eat it and by tomorrow if they're still not eating i'm definitely gonna rehouse her like 100 percent um still nothing from that cricket that cricket is slowly moving but not doing much what do you fix you gonna do anything cricket i don't know if you need ash to turn back around so that the cricket can get eaten. Come on, cricket, move it. Move your botes. Oh, maybe? No, okay, well, no. What the hell? No, it's like, no, I'm out of here. <laughs> hmm. <sighs> okay, well, this is the waiting game now. We just wait here for a bit. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. If I can move that out of the way. Maybe. 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 Come on. Come on, Ash, let's eat it. Huh. She's getting defensive over it. I can see where that roach went. The roach went down here. I just saw the brown move. Oh, maybe she is in pre -mold. I would be like so stoked if she is then. She would eat the cricket up and ask. No, she's just like afraid of it. Okay, I might try. The only thing is she's right there. So I'm gonna try and maybe open this up. Um, I do not want her bolting out at all. I really don't want that. <laughs> I'm gonna try and open it up and see if I can get the roach from down there and the cricket. But the cricket's right there, which is by our hide, and that's gonna be difficult to get, so. Hmm. I might need the tripod for this. Uh, let's make it easier for me to move things around. Okay. Let me get the tripod so you guys can actually watch this as I'm doing it. Let's see if I can set it up like this without hitting it. attempt to this and then I get to use two hands. Hey! I have to be careful for um, picking hairs though, or decaying hairs. Where did that cricket go even? Oh, it's there. I mean, the roach might be there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm still debating this. I do not want her coming out at all. Keep in mind, this is still my first tarantula. And I'm getting my second one in about next week-ish. Um, so I'm still learning this. 
The fact that I was able to tongue feed spiders was a new experience for me. How to grab a grip on this is the most nervous thing. Because there is no grip to grab, like there is nothing. I, I, yeah, I can grab that, but put my finger in. So you might see it as like a food or even a tactic. The cookie is doing dog moves, what? Okay, um, hmm. Hmm. I don't know how to figure this out, honestly. It's starting to rain as well. Lovely. My legs hurt so much from standing up. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Let's see if I can do it from like the ground. Oh. Maybe from the side will be easier. Hmm. It's hard because I haven't got a proper grip. God damn it. It went right behind where I didn't want it to go. It went right to her. Trying to get this roach out is going to be so difficult because they're so fast. Yeah, it's just like the roach that's in there. The cricket, I don't mind. The roach, however, is what I'm concerned about because she seems to not feel very friendly. Even if I can get the roach and just squish it, maybe. Hmm. Honestly, though, I think I might rehouse her into one of those other containers. Oh, she seems to be moving around. Mm. Oh, well, that stopped the roach from hiding, at least. Let's see if I can get this down. Here we go. I mean, it stopped the roach from hiding, at least, so it's not hiding anymore, but it most likely will hide again, but... I think Asterix might eat the cricket. Even if she gets annoyed at it, she might eat it or attempt to kill it. So that's pretty much it. I guess we'll see how it goes tomorrow and see if she eats any of it. If she isn't pre-mold, that'd be great because then I won't have to worry about feeding her again for a bit. And then we might actually get a bigger tarantula on her. But there we go. Look at her. Let's see if she eats any of them in like 24 hours or something like that. I'll let you guys uh, keep updated on anything that happens i'll be making videos on her and such and as well as these videos as well because uh when i get the spiders well tarantulas for these ones i will show um sorting out the en enclosures putting the tarantula in and stuff like that so you guys get to watch that on the channel as well um so yeah so if you aren't subscribed to the channel um make sure to subscribe because those things are coming very very soon um and they'll be very very exciting to watch as well because i think we might have some fun times with these slings so yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this live stream. My sister will also be joining me as well for that video too. So yeah, <laughs> she will be getting her first tarantula and also be feeding her first tarantula as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I guess we'll see how she eats within 24 hours. -ish. If she hasn't eaten it the next day, I will rehouse her into the ones, other containers because I think that'll be more nicer for her. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, if you're on YouTube, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and stuff like that. And uh, if you're on Facebook, thank you for joining. Thank you for joining the group, all the different kind of stuff. Again, if you do want to join the group, you can go down to the link in the description below. There will be a link to the Facebook group, which you can join and answer a few questions if they're still up. And then uh, join the group for that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next live stream, which will be in two weeks, Sunday. Whichever Sunday that may be. I haven't figured it out yet, but whatever Sunday that comes to, I will let everyone know from the posts that I make. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.
I will use my other hand because I'm I have to I have to do the camera, but you know, you know, bye. <laughs>